Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. It's finally March and we finally got some March Madness action for the first time uh, in two years. We didn't even have a tournament last season. So we're happy to be back and we're happy to be breaking down some of these games and starting with one of the first four games. We've got two 11 seeds going head to head. Drake and Wichita State. Uh, Wichita State favored minus one and a half. Total is 141. Uh, Drake coming out of the Missouri Valley, 25 and four, and an astounding 21 and six against the number. A really hot team uh, to bet on this season. And then you've got Wichita State coming out of the AAC, 16 and five straight up, nine, nine and one against the number. We've got Craig Trapp here to break this one all down for us. Craig, uh, early leanings on Drake and Wichita State. Well, pretty amazing seasons for both of these teams. You know, obviously, uh, not many people expected Wichita to be here because, you know, once Greg Marshall was fired uh, really late, I mean, I think they were just a few weeks out from practice when he was let go. So most people kind of written this Wichita State team. So it was pretty amazing what they did. But Wichita State, you know, they had several breaks because of COVID, like many teams, and then they did not finish strong. You know, you, they are very lucky to be in. I thought they probably didn't deserve it, losing the conference tournament to a Cincinnati team that, Hasn't been very good all year, and I know because I'm a Cincinnati resident and Cincinnati fan. Um, so I was shocked to just even see him as a favorite here, Chelsea. I mean, how do you how are you favored? Like you said, the betting numbers don't lie. Twenty one and six against the spread this Drake team. You're not going to find a better team in in the NCAA tournament as far as against the spread. This is going to be the best team as far as against the spread. I'm going to take Drake here. I I understand their you know two of their better players are injured and out, uh, but. Drake has won even without him. They play Loyola Chicago pretty tough. And I'm going to tell you, if you haven't seen Loyola Chicago play, you thought that Final Four team was good. This team is as good, not going to sneak up on anybody this time, as good as they were that year in the Final Four. They're amazing on defense. So they're going to give people fits um, in the tournament. I wouldn't doubt if you see this team in Sweet 16 as well. So Drake losing to them is no shame. I like Drake here. I think the Missouri Valley is as talented. Maybe they don't have Houston like uh, the American has, but as talented uh, after that as uh, the American was. So I'm going to take a Missouri Valley underrated Drake team to win out right here. I don't even need the points. They're going to win out right. Right. And I think a lot of betters will probably be on that train. I'm wondering if this line's going to move because when I saw it, I was a little shocked because I know as far as the betting community goes, everyone loves betting on Drake and, and you've got a high powered offense. that's fun to watch too, uh, averaging 77 points a game and shooting almost 50% uh, from the field. And then you've got Wichita state that's on the opposite end, not a great offense, but their defense uh, statistically speaking, pretty solid top 30 and opponent field goal percentage and limiting opponents to just 67 points per game and 40% from the field. So uh, a clash of styles there, uh, any leanings on a total of 141? I was hoping this total would be in the 130s. I was hoping 137 to 139. That's where I thought this one would land. Um, not shocking because Drake has scored, you know, like you said, uh, pretty easily a lot this year. It's a lot of people have followed Drake because they've been so good against the number. Um, I would probably play, you know, if I'm playing Drake, I'm thinking that Drake gets it into their style. So I would probably uh, lean towards that over, even though, much stronger play to take Drake. I just think I just think the American wasn't very good this year. That's what my um, you know argument is. I think the Missouri Valley was way better than what people gave it credit for, and I think you're going to see that with Wichita uh, with uh, uh, Drake, and I also think you're going to see it with Loyola Chicago. And I think Wichita State's going to realize they're in for a battle in this one, as I think Wichita State loses outright. Yeah. Um, what was it? Sister something? Sister Jean? Remember that nun from Loyola, Loyola Chicago? <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, I'll stop rambling. That's going to do it for our college hoops talk here on Picks and Parlays. Great stuff from Craig Trapp as always. Craig, thanks for joining us.